So ever since last year, I started to realize something. It really started to dawn on me last year, I believe. It really hit me. Like one day, I'm just normal me, and then I just get hit with a mass amount of knowledge. And I realized something. And I remember thinking last year, and this year is no difference. But let me tell you something right now that I've been thinking and last year. Santa Claus is a menace, a criminal. Listen, hear me out. He is a criminal. Look at all the things he could be tried for. Breaking and entering, theft, solicitation, probably has bad workers come for his employees, his cursed elves, probably mistreats them, animal abuse, all the things he has. There's so many more too. Let's just go into each of them, okay? Breaking and entering. Let's think about this. This man breaks into your house, sneaks into the chimney at nighttime. You know, I don't know about you, but if that was anybody else, you'd probably be doing one of two things, probably both more than likely. You're getting the phone to call the cops, or you're getting the 12 gate that's hiding somewhere in your house. Let me think about it. Theft, the man comes to your house, start eating up your food, making himself like some milk and cookies and stuff. We're supposed to leave out milk. This dude has some nerve. So break into our house and then demand for some milk and cookies. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, another one. Well, how, what's the right, right word for this? Privacy invasion, privacy infringement. Let's think about this song. You know the song, like he sees you when you're sleeping. Uh-huh. He knows when you're awake too. Oh, do I need to get into that one? Come on now. He sees you when you're sleeping. Privacy invasion much? Stalking children? Stalking minors? Is that not illegal? Do you see the problem here? And I bet he mistreats his elves. I mean, think about it. Imagine having all those slaves over there working for you, slaving for some kids over there across the world, making toys for them. They're probably not paid well. Like, how does he even get his money to afford all this stuff? How is he paying his workers? How is he getting supplies? Oh, you ask Santa Claus for an iPhone and get you one? Where is he getting the blueprints? You know what? That's trademark infringement. That's what it is. If he makes you an iPhone and says he made it, Trademark infringement. Apple, take him to court. All right, I will. I'll join you in the prosecution. All right, he needs to be arrested and brought to justice. He needs jail time in prison. He really needs it. I bet some animal abuse in there too. I may imagine taking nine reindeers and trying to carry some big sack that's supposed to carry around toys for kids for the, throughout the entire world. There's a man looking at me. I hope you're looking at me. Look at me. I love. I tell the truth about Santa Claus. Look at me. Oh, you're not looking at me anymore. I'm telling the truth about Santa Claus. Think about it. He carries this big sleigh across the world somehow. However he's making it, probably some type of illegal thing he has going on over there. Carrying this sleigh with some reindeers, nine of them. Supposed to carry some heavy... Imagine how heavy that is. Imagine trying to carry around a big bag filled with gifts and stuff for kids or whatever you're giving it to throughout the world. Imagine being a reindeer and carrying all that. And on top of it, you got to carry this big man, too, in this red outfit. I mean, think about it. How is he even warm in that red outfit? He lives in the North Pole. He's wearing some loosely red outfit. I mean, I'm wearing a pretty thin hoodie right now. It's pretty cold outside. But I'm in a car with some air conditioning. Does he have air con Not air conditioning, heat. Does he have heat in that sleigh? Hmm. Is he going to kill off a reindeer and use it as heat? I wouldn't be surprised knowing that man. No, who knows all the other tri uh, the charges he has? Remember last year I was watching Polar Express. No, I do some movie reviews. I should go into every movie review, Christmas song, and everything to tear into that man. I remember last year watching that, and I just saw so many violations. Polar Express. Don't even get me started on that movie. I, I no, one day I'm gonna go in depth into that movie. One day I'm, I think I want to do that. But I'll just give you a little, just a little general summaries. That train itself should be shut down. The old track is definitely up to code. I mean, come on now, come on now. The, the trail there to the North Pole. Remember that when with Ray had to go up that hill and stuff? That hill. You remember that wood? I mean, I thought the wood and tumor was bad. But, oh, come on. Carry some big whoever. Who knows how many tons of pounds that train is? Who knows how many that is? And it's going over that rickety old wood. The big should have fell down and killed all the children. When they went on across that ice, yep, that should have killed them right then. Yeah, the train almost fell, t tipped over. Like... That should be shut down. And then you get, when it gets into a pole, the elves sitting there stacking on top of each other. That's not safe. I mean, come on, OSHA, 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 where are you? Come get this man.
I think I'm going to do this every single year. Every single year till that man's brought to justice, I'm going to be just telling everybody, telling all of you about that criminal he is. All right. You know, what is it? The 25 days of Christmas or 10 days of Christmas, however that thing goes. Well, nope. Now it's time for Termical Days of Christmas. It's the countdown for his trial one day. I'm looking forward to it. Hope you guys are looking forward to that trial because I really am. One day we're going to bring this man to justice. We're coming for you, Santa Claus. We're coming for you. We are coming for for you. So have a good day, everyone. Have a Merry Christmas. And if you see Santa Claus, just just throw a brick at his head and make sure that make sure he's alive. Don't kill him just yet. We gotta make sure he's tried, okay? So if you see him, just <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that. What if a kid sees this and then they take a brick to the mall of Santa Claus? Okay. Don't throw a brick at his head. Just grab him and then put his arms behind his back and call the cops. Don't throw a brick. Uh, kids shouldn't be watching this video anyway. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, that's all I'll say for now. I hope you en enjoyed this. Hope you learned something too about that Santa Claus. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.